All right, earlier we told you about uh, the Michigan mother and her two-year-old son with autism who were kicked out of a salon following his temper tantrum. We asked you, what do you think of this boycott that's taking place online, and should it impact the business of this salon? Here's what you had to say. Jennifer said, you can't shut down a business because the owner yelled at you and your child. Yes, it was unprofessional, but not illegal. Shailene says, my heart cries for this family. We as autism parents have enough judging and staring to deal with. This is just humiliation and mean. Don posted, as a dental assistant, we set aside time in the morning before other appointments for young children and children with disabilities. It works great for everyone. That's a good answer. Wow. I think it's less pro kids with disabilities and offer yeah. something. Yeah, and what a great opportunity to actually get a great reputation out there in the community instead of a lousy one online because those online comments, boy, well, can those folks be held accountable? Yeah. Well, defamation cases are really, really tough. First of all, truth is always a defense, and they get very messy because the number one way to defend against a defamation case is to say, well, they had no reputation to protect in the first right, place. So right. it gets to be a really bad mudslinging right. contest. You don't want to go there. But right. I see it less about his condition and more about putting it out there virally without knowing the whole story. Look, every two-year-old has had a meltdown with a haircut. Yeah, but now we're in an era where all that social media complaining, it's here to stay. That genie's not getting back yeah, in the we bottle. We gotta just learn how to yeah, deal with yeah, it. Yeah, right. how to deal with it, because it's not about the kid getting a haircut, throwing a tantrum, it's yeah. about how the owner handled it. Yeah, I mean, it was the online Allegedly. advocacy but, that created this whole campaign, but, and... Mm -hmm. Isn't there a mind your own business? No. I mean, no, I, no, I, no, I, no, no, that's I, gone. People don't mind their business. I and know. This gives them a way to get in and talk about everybody's business. I mean, and, if well, you get, and if now, you get oh, down to it, it probably would have been best to just go talk to the owner. That's about really it. Sure. It point it known, just, but at the same time, I, I say I would go talk to the owner, but if I just sat back and did nothing, then I, what, I but, feel but, like I'm as guilty too. But, but, but people, are getting, people are getting more response by taking their complaints to Twitter right. and to Facebook than they are from business owners, and that's a sad commentary for those business owners. And just to remind you, that's the right. lawyer representing the salon says this was a safety issue.